Hello everyone. So the other day I was uh, talking to a friend and we were talking about uh, FFmpeg. Now, of course, uh, I'm a bit biased when it comes to using uh, terminal uh, based utilities that you can uh, write on, of course, the terminal. But I also understand that it is not really for everyone. At the same time, when it comes to using these uh, utilities, basically terminal based utilities, there uh, is often, not always, some kind of uh, user interface. And FFmpeg is actually a very simple tool. I mean, not really simple tool, it is actually, it can be a bit simple if you want to do few things over and over again, you can actually write a script and uh, pass some arguments like I do, but uh, to learn something, in the beginning, you have to, of course, you know, spend time, you have to be patient with the uh, different uh, outputs, you have to basically make it work. And the way I do it, I normally start with uh, like a very basic, simple script. I, I remember when I first started using FFmpeg for recording, of course, it was not really a perfect script, I had to add more uh, parameters, but I always follow this strategy where I start using things. And then I, of course, modify it, enhance it uh, with time. But fortunately for FFmpeg, there are actually not one, but I think a couple of good, decent uh, GUIs. I did a quick search and I found this uh, GUI, QWinFF. And it is basically, as the name suggests, it is basically uh, just 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 an interface. And I'm not really sure how it works. I think I used uh, a similar interface uh, long back, not really in the in the last few years, but I, I've used something, I, I forgot the name of that particular application. But if you look at uh, the features, it can of course do simple things. And uh, I believe uh, if you're using a, a tool like a tool like this, it will give you some options that you can configure and it will prepare, I guess, uh, I'm sure, I hope there is, a, there is an option to also use the GUI and of course, generate the script. And if that can be done, then of course, great. And I think you can also use a chat GPT. I tried using chat GPT to generate the script, FFmpeg script. And uh, in the beginning to get started, I think uh, you can just start using the the interface. Fortunately, this is uh, this particular uh, utility is, uh, is available for both uh, Windows and Linux. And uh, you can see here that okay, Arch is there, Fedora is there, so you can always install it. If you're using Windows, great. So uh, you can definitely start using it. I'm not really sure about Mac. Do we have Mac here? Yeah, Mac. What is this OS2? So um, I'm not really sure about Mac, but uh, you can definitely if you're on Windows. But based, I mean, of course, this is a, just one example using FFmpeg. Uh, GUI, but uh, there are a lot of other things that we do, like, uh, for example, I use uh, a lot of utilities to work on PDF files, like extracting the text, reducing the size of uh, a PDF file, and uh, con concatenating different PDF files together, uniting them basically, and splitting them. So you can actually do similar things with other with, with other applications. And I was thinking, Maybe, I mean, I'm sure there are, there are applications based on these uh, utilities, like GUI based applications, but uh, um, I think if you are new to Linux, I think try to use uh, terminal based utilities because in the beginning you might be spending more time and, uh, or at least ma make it a point. I mean, uh, try to use, uh, for example, if you want to use FFmpeg for doing quick editing, you can use this utility, but also at the same time start playing with uh, your uh, command prompt. And it, it will take some time. It will, of course, you know, it won't be quick. You won't be able to do everything in just few weeks or months. It can take, to be honest, years, but it's a gradual process. And I think uh, after some time, once, you, once you're hooked to using these utilities, you won't even uh, uh, use Windows or Mac. I mean, of course, I use Mac. I also use Windows because I have to. If I'm working for a client and they have given me a laptop with Windows installed, I will not really say no because they are paying me, but uh, uh, that is still fine. It is okay if you are using Windows or Mac. 
you can still try to do or find things, find ways to be more efficient. But uh, wherever applicable, if if you have a, if you have a choice, try to use Linux, and also at the same time try to try to use terminal-based utilities. But usually, if you are trying to use Linux, even if you are using Linux, you will always find some GUI interfaces that will help you. That will um, that will of course you know get you started quickly. If you have if you have a list. If you have a list of these uh, interfaces or GUIs, I think uh, it, it would be good if you can share. I'll try it out. And uh, and that is it. That, that is all I wanted to talk about today in this video. Short video, but I thought I'll probably share my views on this. All right, that is it. Bye-bye.